baby. Hey Craftrellas, it's me Alex and I'm coming at you with a couple videos today so if you see me wearing the same shirt don't be like oh my gosh she's gross she doesn't change her clothes. Um, and what is going on here? Uh, <laughs> so I have a couple videos today and uh, first uh, one is going to be a haul. What's new? Um, and then uh, yeah we'll go on from there. So this is a haul from Michaels and from my local scrapbook store. And that hair is going to bother me. Ta-da! Okay, whatever. So, um, I went to... I'm just going to kind of just show you things and tell you where they're from. So my local scrapbooking store today finally got the other colors of the Hero Arts neons. I don't know if my shirt's bright enough for anybody. <laughs> but so I got the neon orange. The neon blue, the neon green, and the neon purple. So I was really excited about those. They literally like had just put them out this morning and I went there straight after work. And I picked up a couple other um, inks. Hero Art Shadow Ink in Shadow Ink. <laughs> Sounds like I said Shadow Wink in soft granite really pretty gray um and then I bought I I bought <laughs> I bought um one of the hero hues the chalk ink I thought I would give that a try and it's a night and it's uh they're black chalk ink and then I bought uh, one of the hero arts shadow inks the mid-tone and orange soda and last but not least for ink, um, we all heard that Jenny Bolin is not, they're discontinuing these. For some reason, I have no idea where my fountain pen one is. So it was $2.25 plus 15% off. So I picked up one in fountain pen. Okay, so I picked up some stamps. This one's from Michaels and it is called the Woman with Pearls. And it's um, kind of a 1920s speakeasy flapper chick with her pearls. Um, let's see. I picked this also up from Michaels. And this is uh, good for, I'm mean, going to use it for Christmas. I could probably use it for Halloween too, but um, there's no title of the stamp. It's just S5477. And it's really pretty. It's a, you know, cover a card stamp. Um, and it's like birch wood. And then I also picked up the uh, CG234, which is this Hero Art Cling stamp. It's a 2012, their Halloween um, spider web. So got those. And all the other stamps that I got are from my local scrap store. So I picked up uh, the Winter Wonderland stamps from My Mind's Eye. And I'm thinking about picking up the collection even though I have so much Christmas paper. I really do like the collection, this Winter Wonderland. Really cute trees. I picked up the Amy Tangerine um, stamps. Volume 3, this is the third version, or third set. Um, and then I picked up another Hero Art Cling stamp for Christmas. It's This is called Be Jolly, and it's like that word Fetty, subway word, or whatever it's called, all of Christmas sentiments, which would be great for like a background. I also picked up um, some Technique Tuesday Allie Edward stamps. This is um, Jingle All the Way, and this is all her Christmas, whoa, all her Christmas ones. And I've been really wanting this, but I just couldn't, I don't know, I guess the fact that I get 15% off at the scrapbook store um, enticed me a little more. I'm not sure. I'm going to get a little curl right here. Ta-da! <laughs> um, this is the Technique Tuesday Chevron Two-Step. And it's a bunch of different chevrons. Um, this top one is a solid. 
This is like two bricks. This is a thin line, thicker, thin, thin, really thick, thin, more bricks again, and then kind of a distressed uh, cement style chevron. So I thought that was great. This is the September 2012 Studio AE stamp set. It's called Celebrate Fall. And it's got a lot of uh, getting cozy. That's really cute. And I don't know if you can see my nails. They, they totally look black. But they're actually, actually, I can't even talk. They're actually really deep, deep, deep turquoise. So pretty. It's a Deborah Lippman color. Anyways, Celebrate Fall. And then I got these ones by Ali Edwards. It's called Love. And it says photo love, this photo, this only, or this photo, this one, this is life. And then it's got camera sentiments with all little things around it. Really, really cute. Also from Ali Edwards, Edwards. Um, I picked up these Technique Tuesday, these story cards, and I just did some printables at Staples, like uh, Mercy Tara did. And um, so I'm going to pick those up, but these are uh, three by four cards, and I got the days of the week, and it comes with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday through Friday, obviously, three of them has one that says life today and hello and they're like a really good card stock and then I picked up the reminisce one and this one includes remember this cherish your story I love today the details celebrate life is good I love you and a whole bunch of others there's 24 double-sided cards in red and then I also picked up the uh, real life ones and these also has it has a slew <coughs> excuse me of what the sentiments are and I'm bummed because I can't find the charger to my camera so that you can actually see what I'm filming crazy okay um knickknacky things I picked up the bits from Amy Tangerine this is what they look like Really, really cute. I'm really loving that little elephant. He's cracking me up. And then I picked up some of these wood veneers in this oblong hexagon shape. And I have to show you guys what I bought to put my wood veneers in um, so I didn't lose them everywhere. And that was all from the scrapbook store. I also purchased these little mini bags. Um, and, you know, I was going to buy some of these on Etsy, but I just didn't know if I wanted to have, like, I think they came in like packs of 200 and I just wasn't ready to make that kind of commitment. But I got Chevron Craft, Black Stripe, Purple Chevron, Gray Chevron, Orange Chevron, and another Black Stripe. So I thought those were really cute. Um, some Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher staples. A new Versamark. Um, I also got, they're starting to put some of their Christmas stuff out. I can't really open this now, but this is the new Cosmo Cricut, uh, Christmas. It'll be, it's called Jolly Days, and I can't really open this. These are the Element deck, and they're a bunch of ribbon, you know, and, but the collection has images like these on the back. That's what the whole collection is, kind of that kitschy, vintage-y feel. Um, okay, so I also picked up some Zing embossing powder. I got two clear, one white, white, and then I picked up the, um, the embossing powder that is the uh, glitter finish. So, and it's black glitter. I thought that'd be cool for Halloween. And I just ordered some heat and stick from Stampin' Up. So, I have a couple orders actually coming in. <laughs> Two peas. I just got my Studio Calico kit. And, um, Two peas, Studio Calico. And who did I just say? Stampin' Up. 
Uh, from Michaels, I just bought two more glitters to add to my collection for the ornaments. This is Bubblegum and this is Limeade. And they're really pretty pink and green. This is something new that I saw at Michaels. And it's called Glitter Tape, but it's really pretty glitter. It looks like ribbon, but it's tape. Ta-da! <laughs> Um, of course, saw Kate's video about these little, what are these, three and a quarter by three and a quarter cards, and I thought these would be great, um, for Christmas. If I didn't want to make full-on tags, I can make little Christmas cards with the cookies and the ornaments. So I got those. Whoa, just almost dropped one. Um, okay. Picked up a couple of these Jelly Bean Soup Winter Tortellini and Spinach Soup Labels. They say, jingle all the way, may your joys be many, joys of the season, happy ho, 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 winter wishes, Christmas blessings. Really cute. Love, you know me, love label stickers. And I also picked up a couple of these from Webster's Pages for their Once Upon a Halloween sentiments. And I thought those were really, really cute. From Pebbles, I picked up... Um, they are the mini ABC stickers, and they're black and orange. Black and orange, black and orange. <laughs> um, cool. So, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stop here because I've got a few more things to show you, and I want to kind of show them in detail. Um, but... Yeah, let me guys, sh let me show you guys a uh, little thing that I've been working on. Hold on one second. So at Michael's, they have these really cute in the Halloween section, these, they're, they're called paper mache and they're like Halloween shapes and they have pumpkins, coffins, and ghosts. And so I picked up one of each and I thought, you know, what can I really do with these? These are really cute. So what I did was I turned them into like little treat boxes. So this is what the pumpkin looks like. And I know there's like a little hole there of glitter. So this is the top. I painted uh, the base black. I used Martha Stewart paints. Um, this is Black Beetle. She actually has a glitter paint called Fire Opal, which matches the glitter that I used. And this actual green, I... Um, painted with the Martha Stewart, the Peridot glitter paint, but the glitter that I used was uh, Recollections Pesto. So I thought it was so cute. And um, see, they, they come like that paper. And so it's just a little treat box. This is black. And then on the outside, I painted it. Martha has a black glitter paint. It's called black glitter but it has like little specks of orange in it it's really really cute so I'm going to put a little treat in there and of course it's shaking glitter everywhere I have to figure out something to seal it with the next one was a coffin and these coffins come in like short and fat and tall and skinny I think my car is beeping Anyways, so here's the coffin, and I painted it with Black Beetle, and then I painted the top with Black Beetle, and then I used uh, the black glitter one, and then put Onyx glitter on top, so the top is really sparkly. And last but not least, and this one's not done yet because I didn't have the glue for it, um, it's the little Scully. That's <laughs> wasn't that cute the little skull and I painted the inside and I painted this um this one was called linen so it's a little bit kind of like an off-white taupe white and this is wedding cake and it's a really stark so I just kind of wanted to have that two-tone differential and um I'm going to be gluing the top and I'm putting Martha has glow in the dark glitter it's great I've used it in years past so the top part will be glow-in-the-dark glitter, and it will be sparkly like the other ones. So that's part one. I'm going to come back and show you the rest that I got, and then we'll go from there. See you soon.